Hello, model citizens. In today's episode, we are going to take a step-by-step -step look at the procedure required to update the new Digitrax DT602D throttle. We will also go over the hardware and software setup. Welcome to Humanity Junction, where the city intersects with humans. If you have seen my other videos on the Digitrax DT602D, you will already know that I did not understand the nuances of updating a Digitrax throttle, and it did not go well for me. I am making this video so that you can avoid the same mistakes that I made. On August 12th of 2020, Digitrax released the second firmware update for the DT602D. I ran into some issues updating the first firmware update released. Therefore, I wanted to make this video a detailed walk through the firmware update process so that you have an easy guide to follow. First, let's take a look at the equipment that you will need in order to update a Digitrax throttle. A laptop running a current version of the Windows operating system, a USB to LocoNet interface, I will be using the Digitrax PR4, a USB cable from your computer to the LocoNet interface, a LocoNet command station. Digitrax recommends a Digitrax brand command station. For this video, I will be using the DB150. A power supply for the DB150, the Digitrax throttle that you want to update, and two LocoNet RJ12 data cables. Let's start by connecting the PR4. Your computer connects to the PR4 via the USB cable. As I found out through trial and error, I needed to do this step first and establish the connection on the computer before connecting to the Digitrax command station. If you do not have the software set up, I would recommend doing that now. If the drivers do not automatically install for the PR4, you will need to follow the directions on the Digitrax website. In my case, the PR4 driver is installed automatically. For the software, we need to download two files from the Digitrax website. The first is the Soundloader 2.4 package. This includes the DigiIPL 2.2 software that we will be using for the throttle update. The second file we need to download is the latest DT602 throttle firmware update. This is a .dmf file. Once the Soundloader 2.4 software package is installed, you will want to make the connection to the PR4 first. I have found that it is easier to confirm whether the PR4 is connected in the Soundloader software, but you can also go directly to the Digi IPL software. You need to select the correct COM port for the attached USB LocoNet device. In my case, this is COM6. Press Select File and choose the firmware package that you previously downloaded to your computer. Now let's finish all of the hardware connections since we know that the PR4 is working. The PR4 connects to the command station with one of the LocoNet cables. The other LocoNet cable will connect to the Digitrax throttle either via the PR4 or the command station. From what I can tell, it does not matter which. I am using a PS515 to power the DB150 command station. I did use a PS14 power supply to power the PR4, but it does not appear that this is necessary. I do have batteries in the throttle. At this time, we are going to go back to the Digi IPL software, and we can now click the Start button. According to Digitrax, if the update does not take on the first try, or your device gets bricked and freezes, just run the updater again. In my case, once I got all the connection issues worked out, the throttle only took one attempt to update. In further testing, I was able to update my Digitrax DT602D throttle using the Digikai's DR5000 command station and a PR4. Do not use the USB connection on the DR5000 to complete the update. Use the Digitrax PR4. Please let me know if you have any questions about this process. Also, if I left out any information that you believe would be important for other people to know who are trying to update their throttles, please let us know in the comments. Keep playing and stay young at heart. Thank you for watching. Please leave any comments or questions below and don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe and select the bell icon to receive notifications. Thanks again and have a great day.